After doing something like Beauty and the Beast, were you looking for something like this, a little yes. bit more character driven? Exactly. Was yes. that was that an easy decision to say yes to this end after doing such a huge film? Yes. <laughs> Was no. it that drew you to this? Because it's so interesting. There's so many layers and, yeah. and so many twists. It's true. I think it's the fact that it felt like a Hitchcock movie to me. And I've always loved those. And I've always dreamed about getting a chance to, to play in that sandbox. And, and this was this was it, you know? That combined with the fact that there were these great parts for great actors. Is it, this, uh, does this present to you a different challenge to say something like Beauty and the Beast? So does you as a director and when you've got all these twists and turns, yeah, is, that, yeah. does it, is that a different challenge for you? I guess it is. I think it's all part of the same challenge, how to tell the story in the right way. But you're right. I mean, here it was all about that thing of like, are we ahead of the audience? Is the audience ahead of us? Because you want to be in that, in that zone where neither one of those things is true, you know, where you, you're giving clues without giving too much away. And obviously you got Helen and, and Ian as the, at the tip of this, but you got the fantastic cast, Jim Carter, Russell Tovey, exactly. and the young cast as well. I mean, what was it that made you settle on all those guys, aside from Helen and Ian? Well, it's just, the, it, it's as though the novelist had written these parts for them. You know, Jim Carter is all you think of when you read that book, you know? And Russell Tovey, again, I love Russell because he brings, you know, it's a part that could have been played in a kind of a very typical university lecturer kind of way, but Russell brings that, you know, kind of, contemporary grit to it and he really makes it something um, I don't know richer than it might have been you know yeah. and just finally on Beauty and the Beast I mean it was such a juggernaut I mean yeah, I bet yeah. you couldn't have even considered the 1.4 no, no. billion yeah, or whatever yeah. it was but when you look back in retrospect was that did you expect it to be that big or because it's kind of been the trailblazer for Disney in many ways yeah, in terms yeah. of their big budget yeah. movies did you expect it to land so big I didn't no I no honestly I didn't I, I that really I, what I loved about it I love the musical form so to have something that in our era uh, everybody went to the way they used to go to Sound of Music or something like that, that was actually rose to the top, I thought that was great because there are a lot of people, it's a full on musical and there are a lot of people sitting there who had never sat through one before. So that, that was very exciting. Yeah. And just finally, for audiences that are going to go and see this tonight, what, what can you say to them that they can expect from this one? I think a lot of fun with twists and turns and thrills and um, some good laughs too. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!